and I have quite a good amount of work to do today, so I thought we might as well get started. These are wristbands and headband I bought as a set, and I absolutely love them. They work so well whenever I'm washing my face. I do need to throw my hair up because my hair will get all in there. I've been using this cleanser for the last couple weeks and I have been loving it, so we're gonna use this. These things really are a game changer when you're washing your face because usually the water drips all the way down your arm to your elbow, at least me personally. So I've been using these and it stops the water. It's really good. I'm waiting for my restock of Typology to come in the mail because I'm running low on some of the products, but I'm gonna make do with what I've got right now. I've been in such a bad habit the last couple of days of waking up and then going straight on my phone, like scrolling immediately, even if it's only for like 10 or 15 minutes. Just the last couple of days I've been guilty of doing it and it's so bad. So I really tried to not do that this morning. Just turned off my alarm, got right out of bed. So small little clap for me. Thing is, whenever I'm on the ship, that never happens because you don't have internet. So you don't even have the temptation of using your minutes, logging into them and checking your notifications. You just get up and go. I need to try and implement that at home as well. I mean, I usually am pretty good, but like I said, the last couple days, guilty. Then last, this is kind of a new step for me. I have this vitamin spray from Wet n Wild. It's been really nice to do. So I'm just gonna spray my face with this. I like there is one more step. My gua sha. There you have it. That is my morning skincare routine. It takes me about five minutes in total. Typically I start my morning with a workout, like I get up and go, I love a morning workout, but because it's Sunday, I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'm going to hop on the computer and start a little bit of editing. I have a video I need to edit for tomorrow to go live. So we're gonna get started with that first and then eventually I will move to a workout. legitimately warm out. I was not expecting that. Just wanted to come out and see the sunshine because it, it looks like it's gonna be a nice day, but it's literally warm. What a great start to the Sunday. and a piece of rye toast. I usually prefer the like 12 grain, but this is what we have right now and it's still pretty good. I think Coco is uh, waiting for her portion. Feeling good. I just finished editing the entire video. Luckily it was a sit down video and those are the easiest to edit because you just literally have to cut all the blank spots out and then add a little bit of text but for the most part pretty standard pretty simple so it's exporting right now it's nine o'clock and we've got the whole day ahead of us i've just been refilling my little chamberlain coffee mug and drinking water these glasses in particular help me drink more water i don't know what it is and i also use a straw which does help so whatever you can do to drink more water right Anyways, video is exporting. It's nine o'clock. I wanna get a workout in this morning, so I think I'm gonna go change out of my pajamas, get a little bit of a sweat on, and then hop in the shower.
much. Just something to get me looking more put together for the day. I don't know what I want to do with my hair. I really don't feel like styling it because I'm not going anywhere. So I might just throw it in a claw clip for now and um, leave it at that. I haven't made my bed yet. So we are going to do that now because I cannot go a day without making my bed. And I, I, I mean it. Much better. It's now 11 o'clock and I have yet to have a cup of coffee, so we're gonna do that now. We are gonna play some Overcooked, our favorite game. We played a little bit yesterday, but it was not our best day, so hopefully today's a little bit better. Okay, we ready? Ready, it's just stop. Okay, I'm on the right. Okay. I'll put the buns, oh, I'll put the buns on the plate. So I get all three of the other things ready. Yeah, I'm just sending a lot of meat. Ah, uh, it's probably better for me to put it here in the middle. Where did the lettuce go? Oh, this is ready to serve? Yeah. Oh, something's on fire. No. Nice. Three stars. All right, it is 12.47. We've played about 45 minutes of Overcooked, smashed a couple levels, and now we're gonna have some lunch. I don't know why I'm so hungry today. I was hungry at like 11, but I had breakfast at 8.30. I need chickpeas. Chickpeas, couscous. could do a little bit of a Sunday reset. I don't have too many things that I need to organize or clean, but I definitely want to vacuum. So I've brought the vacuum upstairs and we're gonna vacuum the floor and the carpets. It's one of those little things that takes you five minutes to do, but it just makes a big difference. So my, my room definitely needs a vacuum. So we're gonna do this. my makeup brushes I've put this off a little longer than I wanted to so today's a good day to clean these and get them all nice and fresh because it's long overdue like I said so we're gonna do this it doesn't take me too long I just kind of swirl it in my hand and then I lay them out to dry are all washed I've laid them out to dry by the end of the night I should be able to put them back into the little container but that literally took me 12 minutes so this is your sign to stop procrastinating something you should do <laughs> because that did not take as long as I thought it would thank you so we've just gotten to the mall we thought you know what what's a fun activity for a Sunday shopping so we're here, we're just gonna browse a bit. It's not really anything I need to buy or want to buy, so we're just popping in and out of some stores, but should be fun. How cute is that? That's massive though. That'd fit a lot of iced coffee, that's for sure. These are cute too. It's adorable. Oh my gosh, the watermelon. Stop it. Look at the watermelon. It's so cute. I don't have like any stuffed animals really, aside from mascot. $35 for this? Are you kidding me? What the heck? We're in Bath and Body Works and all of the soaps are on sale. And I love their scented soaps. So I might pick up a couple. Right now we're just smelling all of the scents, trying to figure out which one without going crazy. They have a Bridgerton limited edition collection full of soaps, lotions, candles. This is crazy. Like, look at this. 
diamond of the season. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. you too. We're in five below, and I just love looking in here because they have just funny things like this. This placemat says, please leave. <laughs> Should I buy this for the next contract? <laughs> it's a cute color, actually. Yeah. Five Below is a good place to look for things for a cabin, like little decor, because it's, it's affordable, but it's also cute. These little clips are so adorable for like a half up, half down, but they're fruits. It's only five dollars. But I also really want these pink ones as well, because I was looking at the purple ones and I was like, oh, I really want these, and then I saw pink, so I think I've got to get the pink. Do I get them both? The no? Thank you. Thank you very much. You too. Thank you. There you go. Nice. Little afternoon pick-me-up. Oh my god, this is a very tight squeeze. Oh. Jeez. Anyways, first we need a pit stop at Mighty Taco to give Kellum a taste of what Mighty Taco is like. However, the location we went to really let us down. They messed up the order, but you know what? What can you do? Still tastes good, right? Yeah, I mean it doesn't taste like it, and it has cheese when it shouldn't have cheese. It looked yeah. the same as yours. Okay, yeah, they really messed it up. What can you expect? Maybe. Anyways, <laughs> I've got a caramel iced coffee with oat milk. Mm. You know, I should have gotten hot. I prefer hot from Tim Hortons. You can't even taste any flavor in the oat milk, and that's why the flavor comes in the other ones. Oh, you maybe you just need to mix it because I've just used the straw to like get into the bottom a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's better. We're gonna drive home. We were at the mall for like two hours. It was fun to get out of the house and do something, but also wasn't really in a shopping mood, so yeah, it was more just fun to walk. All right, our final stop of the afternoon. We're taking another pit stop at Aldi. Salsa, broccoli. On the couch, we're watching Ready Player One, and we're on our laptop. I'm working on a bit of editing, always, but I have so much footage to ca catch up on. Hey, Mom. Hello. It is 7.40, and we're gonna make dinner now. I honestly have not been hungry, but now I'm finally getting hungry, so we're gonna make a little Mexican bowl for dinner tonight. We picked up some chicken at Aldi, and I think we're gonna Put that in the pan as well as some peppers. Tell me that she is not the cutest dog in the whole world. Look at her. Look at that precious face. Coco, you know you got lots of fans. Yeah. Yeah, Coco Bean. Tomorrow we can go for a walk. Yeah, tomorrow. Not now. No. Tomorrow. Dinner was delicious. I am very full. It was definitely a bigger portion than what I usually do, but it's good. I was quite hungry actually. By the time we ate, it was eight o'clock or just after, so solid dinner. Now we're going to relax for the rest of the night. I think I want to do a face mask. Can you do one with me? Can't wait. Yeah. Nice. So we'll do a face mask, maybe watch a movie. We played a game of foosball. We have the foosball table in the basement. So we played a game of that, which was quite fun. And um, we've got these scratch off date cards. They're from Amazon and I thought this was really fun. So it comes with a little coin and then you basically just scratch off the card and then it tells you what the date, like it gives you a date idea. I'll have them linked. Okay, let's see. You got daytime, nighttime, anytime. Then it also tells you like staying in or going out. So basically, I don't know what these are. Maybe those are bonus ones. Flip for your fate. You gotta flip to see the new you guys. You flip. 
course, it's always hurts. <laughs> Staying in or going out. So I'm gonna pick this card. This is the card I've selected. Wow, they really make you stretch the whole thing, don't they? Yeah, that's a lot. All right. Embark on a culinary adventure with a homemade wheel of flavors. Craft it from ingredients at home and take turns spinning to determine the ingredients for your individual dishes. The catch, you must use only selected ingredients. Take turns spinning to determine the ingredients. Do we just pick, like... Toast peanut butter? I guess we just pick random flavors. Okay. And then we have to make up a meal. And then we got to spin. The wheel of flavors. How do we spin? I don't know. We gotta make a spin. Wheel of what? Or a dice roll. Oh, maybe. Some kind of randomization. Oh, yeah, we could do it on the yeah, computer. It's a technology now, so it's fun. Yeah, well, that's fun. We're gonna have a really random dish. That's fun. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Maybe not. Maybe we'll do it another day. Oh, I've got this No Beauty Glacial Bay clay mask. It's Vanessa Hudgens brand, and I quite like it. I'm gonna just slob this on, let it sit for, I wanna say like 20 minutes. I always end up letting it <laughs> absorb longer than that because I just get lazy to get up and rinse it off, but it doesn't hurt to keep it on a little bit longer. It's a nice little Sunday self-care act. Obviously you can do this any day of the week, but I feel like this is a good way to end off a Sunday night and then prepare us for a new week because tomorrow is Monday. enjoys an English breakfast tea. That's not really my vibe, so I made a cinnamon apple tea. It smells amazing. It's so hot. I cannot even like drink it right now. But yeah, we're just winding down for the evening. We're gonna have the tea, maybe watch a little bit of Netflix and call it a night. I did want to share with you my ring that I've been using the last couple weeks though and absolutely loving. So I have the Ultra Human ring in the gold and I love it. I have been using it to track my sleep for a couple weeks now and it's been so much fun to wake up every morning and see my sleep score. It gives you all of your stats, your heart rate, how long you've slept and how long in each cycle you've slept and a bunch of other statistics as well. So this has been really fun to um, keep up with and I wear it when I sleep every single night so that I can track my progress and see because it's obviously very interesting to learn and also helps me understand my body a little bit better. So I can definitely tell the days that I wake up feeling more rested or less rested and then I look at my score and it does reflect how I feel. So I also think it's quite cute. Like I know I'm really late to the trend. I feel like a lot of people have these and have been wearing them for a while now, but um, better late than never. I really like it. I'll have the one that I specifically have linked down below for you if you're interested in checking it out. But anyways, we're gonna drink our tea and just chill for the rest of the evening. I'm in my pajamas. It's been a very good Sunday. I've been productive, but also we've relaxed a bit as well. So it was a good balance of both. <laughs> 